Hey there, YouTubes. This is a quick video about the Secret Wars and um, some of the features that you can find. So I think in this first one I'm going to talk a little bit about inventory management. Um, I just experienced a bug where sometimes when you try to zone it dumps all of your managed inventory back into your general inventory. So now's a good time to uh, discuss that a bit. So if I hit I to bring up my inventory, usually you will just see this one big inventory box. And it has the usual features you would think of. You can search, metal, and boom, there it shows things that have metal in the name. And that's a good feature. So uh, it tells me I'm at 51 of 200 items. You start with 50 items available for inventory and uh, for a pretty reasonable price in in-game credit you can add more space at 10 slots per um, so that wasn't too bad and you can get up to 200 items at least in this beta and then after that if you want more than 200 items I think you have to pay with uh, real game or uh, real world money. There's also a button for tokens that you can bring up and this will show you tokens that are specific for certain zones. So for instance uh, this beta is in Kingsmouth and those Kingsmouth um, quests give you sequins of Solomon Island and those can be spent at a specific vendor. So wallet will tell you uh, looks like there's six different types of, of special currency tokens that you can get for special vendors. And then Pax Romana is the uh, money that you actually have in the game. So a bit about um, inventory control. There is no bank. You carry everything with you all the time, so that's actually sort of nice. You originally start with just this one big huge inventory window. Now if you hit this plus button, you create something called a new bag. And it's this uh, 10 slot um, 2 by 5 grid that you can put things in. And you'll notice that I'm at 51 of 200 items and if I move something over here I'm still at 51 of 200 items. All of these windows that I have for inventory um, that you can see pop up. I got a little one over here, one down here, and a bunch of other stuff. All of those bags are all considered part of my inventory so there's nothing really crazy going on there. Um, if I create a new bag and I don't want it, then I can hit this trash can. Do I really want to delete that bag? Yes. And then the things that are in it just get dumped back into general inventory. So let's create a couple of new bags here. What can you do with these bags? Well as you've seen I've already made some, but you can double click up on the name here and change it to say weapons and I can change this one to say talismans so now what I can do is I can dump all of my weapons whoa I can dump all of my weapons into this particular bag just to organize things and know where I want to keep them Now I've got all my weapons over there. I can throw talismans, which are your gear pieces, over into this one. You can see I already have one for kits. These are for crafting kits. So I can dump my crafting kits over there. And as I go through this, um, you will see that I will be able to sort of make some sense out of all of this stuff that I have accumulated. And I'm going to throw my elements over here. Elements are used in some crafting things and runes are used in another. And kits are consumable items that you use to actually do the crafting. And You'll notice that I've resized my rune, runes one. Um, that is 
and where we go there you go you can resize it grabbing a corner and dragging I've resized it because as you can see I end up with a lot of different runes of different quality levels so anyway I'm sorting through things this thing here is a unique item my Agartha conduit this is the item that uh, returns me to the quick travel center and what I like to do with this is another thing you can do with the bag which is just sort of make a button out of it and uh, I can't hotkey it but at least I can click on it so right now um, I'm keeping that over there and I'll show you why in just a second um, that's a unique flamethrower item I put my consumables which are these green ones down in here anything that I might want to use uh, during gameplay and I'll show you why in just a second okay so we'll just leave one up here so now I've got things I've got things organized organized into um, miscellaneous and unique and consumables I don't want to use in combat I've got my kits, I've got my runes, I've got my elements, my weapons, my talismans. Pretty much everything is set up the way I like it. So if I turn inventory off, you'll see that my Agartha conduit, which I can click for quick travel, stays there. And so does this little uh, six thing bar that I have here, which I have named Combat Consumables. So the way you get them to stick is by clicking or unclicking this padlock. So now it goes away because I've unlocked it. I lock it and it stays. So this allows you to create a, uh, unfortunately I don't know of a way to hotkey them, but you can create something here where you can leave things like this and now I've got easy access to my quick travel and easy access to my health potions and what have you. So there you go, that's just a quick tour through uh, inventory management. Um, if I decided I wanted to leave something else out there I could lock it and if I decided I want to get rid of it entirely I can hit the trash can say yes I want to delete it and it'll dump it right back into inventory if I want to search you can see that even if I type in the search here it will light things up that has the search term wherever they are in any of the bags so all in all that's pretty handy and uh, that's a quick tour of the inventory and I'll be making a few more videos so stay tuned bye